Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Rosie. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can collect open source data from LinkedIn. We have a video on our YouTube channel that describes how social media can be used for open source intelligence. You can find the link to it in the description box below. LinkedIn is one of the most popular business social media platforms. I will tell you about the possible data points that can be retrieved from a LinkedIn profile. An individual's LinkedIn profile contains information about their professional experience, professional skills and achievements, milestones, and even about the person's activity on LinkedIn. A LinkedIn profile can be configured as public or private or visible only to connections. Now, I will demonstrate how open source data can be collected from a LinkedIn profile. Meet Sam and Penny. They both have profiles on LinkedIn. Whenever Sam visits Penny's profile, she would receive a notification stating that Sam has viewed her profile. LinkedIn notifies a profile owner whenever someone has viewed their profile. This means, during an OSINT investigation, when the investigator looks at the target's profile, the target is notified about it. However, this is not ideal in all situations. OSINT professionals must remain anonymous, so the target does not know that they are being studied. There are two ways in which an OSINT professional can achieve anonymity. The first case involves navigating to the settings menu. to the Visibility section. Within Profile Viewing Options, select Private Mode. Now, when the OSINT professional visits the target's profile, the target would not know the name of the person who has viewed their profile, but will still receive a notification that someone had viewed their profile in private mode. The next option is to perform a Google search for the target's LinkedIn profile. If you know any other keywords related to the target, you can include it in your search. Now, I will copy the link to the target's LinkedIn profile. Then navigate to Google's mobile-friendly test and paste the URL. This process takes about a minute to complete. Click on View Tested Page. Now, you can view the HTML source of the target web page. Copy this HTML content. Paste it in a HTML viewer to view the target's LinkedIn profile. With this technique, the target will not be notified that someone had viewed their profile. Here, we have a target's public profile. I will tell you about all the possible data you can recover from a public profile. At the start of the page, you can find the target's full name, their headline, which is usually an indicator of where they currently work at, their current location, and their photograph. Then you can find a description of how the target chooses to present themselves to the world. Within the activity section, you can find all the posts the target has interacted with, by commenting or liking. If the target had uploaded any articles or documents too, you can find them here. It is possible to find interesting information in uploaded documents. Within the Experience section, you can view the list of companies the target has worked for, along with the duration. The first few entries are displayed here. You can click on Show All to view the complete list. The Education section contains the list of schools the target went to. Following this, you can find the list of professional skills possessed by the target. The Recommendations section contains professional testimonials given to the target by current and former colleagues. This section is great to identify professional acquaintances. If the target has made any publications or patents, you can find them listed here. The publication date is of importance here. The target's lingual proficiency is an important data point in OSINT. Finally, you can find the names of organizations the target is affiliated with, and other pages followed by the target. This section indicates the target's interest in a particular topic or person. Overall, the information on a target's LinkedIn profile is a great indicator of the individual's professional competency. 
Now, let's talk about a single post. LinkedIn typically displays the number of hours, days, or weeks before which this post was made. To find out the exact timestamp at which this post was made, copy the link to this post by clicking on these three dots. And use this timestamp extractor tool. Paste the link here and click this button. We can see the exact timestamp at which this post was made. However, we cannot do this same task for the comments on the post. We can simply find the approximate date at which the comments were made based on the post timestamp. In some cases, a profile may be configured as private. In that case, it is still possible to view the target's activity. If this section does not exist, you can type detail slash recent activity in the URL to view it. Consider an organization. If a current employee has listed this company in their experience section, then that employee's name would show up in the people section. Here, you would see the total number. If an employee does not have this information listed on their profile, it is still possible to find if that person is associated with the company. We can do this using search engines. There is a tool that can automate this task for us. It is called Crosslinked. This tool scrapes Google and Bing search engines for the names of all employees of a specific company. The search is performed based on the name or email address, which you can configure. The identified names are stored in a text file. I have used this tool to perform a search using email addresses of employees at Now Secure. The LinkedIn page has the names of 164 employees. But this tool has identified 262 unique names. Here is a tool called the Endorser that helps to map out the relationships between different LinkedIn profiles based on the recommendations given. I encourage you to try it out. You can also sign up for a LinkedIn Premium account to gain access to more search features. I hope you have a good idea now about how open source data can be collected from LinkedIn for OSINT. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!